Hey, it's Teresa from Life Beyond Diabetes. And today I'm talking about one of the things that I find incredibly frustrating about type 2 diabetes. And that is that, um, sorry, I've got something going on here. Um, that, that is that a lot of times when I go to bed with a really great blood sugar, I wake up in the morning and my blood sugar is high. And it is so frustrating because I think I'm doing everything right, but it turns out something is going wrong. So what is up with that higher blood sugar that's really typical for people with type 2 diabetes in particular? Um, what it is, is um, it's called the Dawn phenomenon or Dawn effect, and it's caused by a complicated mix of hormones that happen um, overnight as we sleep and particularly in the morning as we're waking up. And it's something that's very healthy for people who don't have diabetes um, and um, not so much great for those of us with diabetes. And what happens is there's um, you know, lots of stress hormones and things that are kind of mixed up in the night and as and they, these hormones rise as, as it gets closer to the morning and um, first thing in the morning. And there's one hormone in particular, it's called glucagon. And glucagon's purpose is to um, signal your liver to release sugar. So I don't know if you know that your body is capable of making its own sugar and that's done in the liver. And it's through a process called gluconeogenesis. Um, anyway, glucagon, again, perfect for people who are healthy and don't have diabetes because it regulates their blood sugar through this you know perfect dance of insulin and glucagon you know you raise the blood sugar and you lower it and it keeps it all right steady for people with type 2 diabetes just like the insulin response is kind of messed up the glucagon response is as well so what happens is that our bodies release glucagon when we don't need our liver to kick in and make sugar so that um, time in the morning when we have higher blood sugar is called by is caused by excess glucagon that we don't really need excess sugar happening and then of course because of our insulin resistance we're not able to deal with that excess sugar and just like any other sugar that we are that we give our bodies it's the sugar that comes from inside our bodies isn't necessarily any healthier for us at that time so um, you know, people say, well, what can I do about that? It seems like I'm doing everything right. I don't understand why my blood sugar is, is higher in the morning. And um, for the most part, you know, the, the things that we do for lifestyle treatment of diabetes, you know, with a lower carb diet and increased activity, um, these are helpful because they improve insulin resistance. And as you improve your insulin resistance, it improves your glucagon response. The other thing are, um, there's a few classes of medication for type 2 diabetes that really work on glucagon and um, your body's release of glucagon and the way that your body deals with the glucagon. Um, the most common of those and the one that most people are um, put on right you know, early on in a di diagnosis of type 2 diabetes is metformin. One of metformin's mechanisms of action, in addition to improving insulin sensitivity, is decreasing the release of glucagon. So it cuts back on the amount of sugar that your liver releases. The other medications that are um, newer medications, but one of their primary focuses is that, that glucagon um, action. And the, um, one of those that is, I think, the most effective for working on this um, are the GLP-1 agonists. So that's kind of a big mouthful, um, but many people know those as by the brand name of Victoza, also Trulicity, Ozempic, there's a few others that are out there. These are injected medications. Um, they're not insulin. People think, okay, it's an injection, it must be insulin. These are not insulin, they're an injected medication that works in a lot of different ways on your type 2 diabetes, but one of the big ways that would affect your morning blood sugars, your fasting blood sugars, is that it decreases glucagon production. So those are the GLP-1 agonists. The other kind, the other drug that works, and it works in um, conjunction with the actual GLP-1 that you make in your own body, um, is they're called DPP-4 inhibitors. And the most common one prescribed in the US is Genuvia. And Genuvia also, so what Genuvia does is it, um, there's 
the DPP-4 is a hormone that stops the GLP from working so that um, the DPP-4 works with the GLP that you're naturally making in your own body to improve um, you know, improves your insulin sensitivity, but it also um, decreases the release of glucagon. So it's a frustrating, frustrating problem to have, but it is manageable and it is normal also that, you know, so it's very frustrating that you're checking your fasting blood sugar and the goal is to get your fasting blood sugar down, but sometimes it's the highest blood sugar of the day. So keep at it. Rest assured that what's happening to you is probably happening to you know, many, many other people with type 2 diabetes. It's, it's a frustrating one, but it's workable, you know, doing all the things that we can to keep our blood sugar low and to get them well managed helps with that. In particular, those three medications also help in addition to the lifestyle changes. So um, that is a little bit of a description of what's going on. Um, one of the reasons why you can wake up with higher blood sugar than when you went to bed. There's another one that I'll talk about another time um, that, another reason why we wake up with high blood sugars. And I'll talk about that, I think I'll talk about that next week. Um, anyway, so if you have any questions about that, I'd love to hear, hear them. Of course, any questions you have at all, please um, drop me a comment or drop me a direct message and let me know what I can answer for you. And um, I will see you next week here on Thursday at 2.30 Pacific, just like usual. Bye.